Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at Python jobs in 2023. All right, here we go. Let's start off with the bullet points. Number one, Python is the most in-demand language in 2023. So, yep, a lot of people are being laid off, but nonetheless, there's still a lot of jobs that are open in the world, and Python happens to lead the pack. Number two, because Python is versatile, it is used in many non-tech functions like business analysis, data visualization, server management, and automating processes and tasks. Number three, Python is also used, of course, to build apps of all types, including web apps, fit client applications, and is probably the most widely used language in AI. There's a lot of growth opportunity in AI, that's for sure. Number four, Python is used by tech companies, government agencies, financial institutions, academia, and research facilities. So what to take away from this? Python is so widely used in many different types of companies. So not just pure tech companies, as I mentioned before. And it could be used by accounting firms. It could be used by investment banks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it has a very wide range of applications, which means a wide array of jobs are available with Python. Just to give you an idea, I put together a few job listings from indeed.com just to give you an idea of what the salaries salaries are in North America. You have to adjust it wherever you happen to live in the world, just adjust it accordingly. So full stack Python developer, Dallas, Texas, uh, starting at $80 an hour. That's the equivalent of about 160,000 US dollars per year. This is a contract. So what does that mean? Well, how did I get to 160,000? Well, you just multiply that times two and a thousand. So it's 160, 80 times two, 160 times a thousand, 160,000. Let's go down another job, a remote job, starting at 72,000 to $174,000 a year. This is writing and testing Python code to developer software applications and systems. So let's scroll down a bit more. Another job in Texas, 70 to 75 an hour. So that's 140000 to $150,000 a year. Contract, eight-hour shifts. So you see excellent understanding of Python programming mode and requires libraries to develop REST API services. So you get the idea. And the last one, from 88 to 97000 This is in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a remote job, full-time. So 88 to 97000 is kind of the bottom end. But uh, it gives you a good idea of what Python is all about. I'm talking about Python now because it is one of the routes you can take as a pro developer, pro coder. There's many different routes. There's a web stack. There's Python. Python does web stack, of course. You can do PHP if you're doing freelancing. There's Java and C Sharp for enterprise applications. They're all good. But with Python, there's a wider range of opportunity in terms of the jobs out there. That said, a lot of it is in uh, data analysis where you may need a degree that will fit with that. So you have to do a little bit more digging in terms of the jobs. What I recommend when you're thinking about working in a particular field, uh, maybe call up the local company and say, hey, I see you have a job uh, as a Python developer. Uh, what are you looking for? If I did some courses, did some projects, can show you that I actually built things. Will that be enough for you? Uh, you have a data analyst job. Do you need me to have some sort of degree to do this? There's no, uh, there's no harm, no foul calling up these places and asking in advance, like, what do you need? What do you need in terms of candidates for these jobs? This way, you're going to get a serious understanding of the marketplace. So you have to poke around a little bit. But bottom line is there's still a lot of opportunity Python. Now, before you think, well, Steph, you're just talking about this because you sell Python training and certification. I, I do all kinds of things. Python is one of the things I do. It's related to the grand picture, of course, whether it be in my mentoring program or my self-paced courses that you can get into. But I pull material off of the web if I feel it's no longer useful. And I've done it many times. So I've been teaching and mentoring people for decades, a couple of decades now, really. And I pulled up, I pulled out a lot of stuff because I have a broad range. So I wouldn't be talking about Python 
if I thought it was not useful to you. I just, I, I put it out there because I know it's useful to you. As I said, I pulled out many courses already that were no longer useful. They were making me money, but I said, you know what? I don't think people need, really need to do a lot of Dreamweaver. There's still big demand for it, I imagine, but it was far diminished. I thought that having a good, a good fundamental understanding of the core languages and the core technologies was more important. So I pull things off and I retire courses when they're no longer relevant in terms of the marketplace. So you go down, just in case you don't know, I do have an interactive Python training course and certification package, link will be below. This is very different from anything you've seen out there because it's my own platform, which we developed for over many years, working with many schools. So it's video-based, short, easy to understand video lessons. You get interactive where you write code, you get instant feedback from the system, instant help. It grades you, you score points. Once you complete the course, then you go into the certification. This is a proper certification exam where you, uh, you have to answer, write code, get enough questions answered in the allotted time, and you're certified. Each certification has an ID that's unique, so it can be verified. This is much more valuable than a certificate of completion that has no verification. So this is a package I do offer now. It's on Python found foundations and fundamentals. You see that people love this course. If you want to learn Python, whether you're a total beginner or experienced developer and you just want to really quickly learn Python, all the important aspects of the language and what you can do with it, I, I invite you to check out the course. So it's, here it is. Uh, you go to unclestet.com, routes Python. That will take you right to the course. And here we go. If you have any questions, you can ask under this video. You see there's over six hours of video training, 176 code challenges and quiz questions. Uh, yeah, you can check out the page, see some sample videos, read some of the reviews. There you have it. I hope you found this video useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. Check out the links below to my mentoring program, my Python certification package. Also, we do have a Discord with over 3,500 members. Check it out below. It's a good place to interact with other people learning to code and also experienced developers as well. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.